Hi everyone. Hi. We've got researcher for the experience. Yes, we will say hi to Mr. Fish. No simping for the anomalies, I cannot promise. I made a promise to some people I'd go and flirt with 049, so this is going to be an experience. Welcome to our facility. Cypress Snell will be returning momentarily from break, so we have precious little time to go over some important rules and regulations. In order to maintain our cover here, I've been instructed to recite this curtain speech for you. Welcome to Thymeli Arts and this production of Signals, performing as part of the Hollywood Fringe Festival 2022, celebrating its 12th year with over 200 different shows, workshops, and parties throughout Hollywood. Although you may use your phone to take photos and notes for any narratives you uncover, we ask that you silence your phones and other electronic devices. Please note the emergency exits, which may be in front or behind you. Although we recommend you wear masks, site staff will not be. Now that's over with, let me go over what you need to know. Firstly, although they are unaware of it, site staff are trapped in a time loop. You all are exempt. As such, bringing up this time loop to them will likely confuse and disorient them. We suggest you focus instead on the missions that you've been presented with. Second, the Foundation is not here to judge your morality or choices, merely your effectiveness. Previous participants have chosen to aid the Foundation, others the SCPs, others to chart their own course. The decision is yours. Thirdly, any unduly disruptive, progressive behavior will result in your ejection from this exercise. Please do not touch or otherwise physically interact with any of the site personnel or SCPs unless explicitly invited to do so. Fourthly, as personnel outside of this time loop, you will be immune to the powers and effects of the various SCPs. The other personnel do not share this immunity. Fifthly, when the time loop starts in approximately two hours, you will have to vacate site premises or risk forever being trapped in the time loop like those inside. And finally, remember your cover. Each of you has been assigned a department designation. Your best odds successfully achieving your objectives lie with forming a team with all departments present, as site personnel will treat you differently depending on who your department is. Now, everyone knows the department? Yes? Black for admin, red for security, blue for research, and orange for That was a mimetic effect. I apologize, children. Very good. Good luck. Oh, I'm definitely dead now. Um, hello, everyone. I'm so sorry you were let in while we were on break, but uh, good to meet you all. Let's get started, shall we? I am Sybil Elliott. I'm head of HR here at Site 00013. If you have any issues here today on your first day, I encourage you to find me. My desk is just behind this curtain here near the entrance, all right? So, happy new year. So sorry your first day is on a Sunday, but ready to get started, all right? We'll begin with some introductions, some um, orientations. So I'll have you by department go to your department heads. We'll have administration go to this corner office here to meet the site head. Research will go behind this clear curtain here to meet the research team. If you're on security, you'll go right here with Blaine at this table. And if you're with D-Class, I'll have you go through that door to our containment area, all right? If you're lost, come find me. Go ahead. Let's all go, everyone. Hello. All right, everyone. Welcome to the research team orientation. My name is Elizabeth Taylor, and I'm the head of research here at Site 0001. That's great. You might have noticed some of the other department heads walking in. We have Blaine Cunningham, who is the head of security, and in the corner office we have the site head. We're not only one admin, but the entire site. Everyone, on our research team, we have our research team Danny Taylor and Joseph. Is up? Welcome, welcome. We're really excited to have you here. You have been selected because you are the best and the brightest that the foundation can find. As you will find, you will primarily be helping us study the different anomalies that we hold on site. All of our anomalies have something that we call a special containment procedure, which is why we nickname them SCPs. And all of our SCPs can be found in the containment room, which is through that door. 
we want to keep this orientation as short as possible, but it's legally we're learning by doing, but we do have a couple of rules of thumb on site, just to make sure that you hold yourselves safely and the decorum. The first is please do not touch any of the humanoid entities. Some of them are very dangerous, as well as very unpredictable. The next one is to follow all instruction and protocol and make sure that somebody on site personnel knows where you are and what you're doing at all times. And the final one is please do not get caught up in distractions such as all gossip or pranks or any of the likes. This is not the place for that. Is that understood? Do you have any questions? All right. In that case, uh, we'll take your pick and we'll start giving you a research assignment. Okay, great. I can take the three of you. Any of you come with them as well? Uh, yeah, I'll good. take four. Yeah, Great. I'll take the two of you guys. Amazing. 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 This way, make space in my, my little corner of the research. Hi everyone, so I'm Danny Taylor, like my sister said. Oh yeah, Lizzie's my sister. So she probably wants me to give you actual work to do, but would you rather do something fun instead? Oh, certainly. Oh, amazing, great. What What are your names? Brianna. Brianna. Daniela. Daniela. Adelby. Adelby. Kelly. And Kelly. Great, and I'm Danny. I'm sorry if I don't remember your names. There's a lot of you were groups today. Okay, so. So I have um, been looking into different artifact SCPs. So there's like the humanoid SCPs, you might call them monsters, so to speak, and the artifacts, which are kind of like cursed objects or the like. Uh, there are several that I've been wanting to test. They've been tested on D-Class before, but I found a new test subject that I think is going to provide a lot more results. It's none of you, don't worry. It's my sister, Elizabeth Taylor. Oh. Now, the one I want to look into is um, SCP-2291, the fun box. Um, if I, it's stored in the archives. If I take it from the archives, Lizzie's going to trace it back to me, and she might get mad, and we don't want that to happen. So you need to find Chris the intern. They're wearing like a red sweater vest and an avocado shirt. You cannot miss them. They have a bit of a crush on me. So if you tell them it's for Danny, they'll be like, oh yeah, totally. I'll go get the fun box from the archives. So if you can go over to Chris, ask for the fun box, and then sneak it back here, then we can uh, start our experiment. Excellent. All right, best researchers. I will see you soon. I think Chris is ready. Right over there. Lovely. What do you want to do, buddies? Should we talk to our dearest intern? Let's go for Chris. Hey there, buddy. Listen, I know you have a little bit of a relationship interest with one of our dear researchers here and she actually wanted us to ask a little favor especially from you and only you can get it for us like danny danny asked yes danny asked i mean i do have a bit of a crush i've been making it a little obvious lately because like i'm thinking of asking her out soon oh if i do this favor for you guys do you think you could oh we're certain i'm okay. certain we can Okay, now, yeah. what you gotta do is, you need to go into the archives and you need to get the fun box. It is very important for a test that she wants to perform. Don't worry anything about it, don't ask any questions. All you need to do is get it for us. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'll do it. Plan like the good work. Is if you could do me a favor, just watch out for security. I'm not sure where Gio went, but like... Oh, don't worry. You got, don't right. worry. No, not even security. Like, security, like... Like the Gio, security, like, security. Like don't that. worry. We'll keep an eye out. Okay, you guys wait right here. Yeah. We've got you. And it looks like we've got our eyes. Oh, shit. David's alive! Oh! We've got something interesting here. Now, that's certainly interesting. Is that yeah. something you think we should be concerned with? So, David is um, my sister's fiance. He oh. disappeared um, like 10 months ago. He's our other world explorer, and he went out on a very standard mission, and then we completely lost contact with him, so we thought he was dead, but now apparently he's over the radio. Um, I, I hope he's okay. He's, he's one of my best friends, so if he's still alive and we can get him back, that would be amazing. I think it might be interesting for us to go and check it out since Davey went that way as well. Yeah, I know Joe's been looking into David's reappearance, but I didn't think he had any merit to it before, so you could definitely talk to him about it and Blaine where the signal yeah. came through. Let's go. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. 
please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.